Hello there, my Android trainees. I hope that your day has gone well so far. I have a question for you. Are you in customer service, like a frontliner who interacts with customers on a daily basis, and there are times that you have to say no to their demand or request, but you don't want to offend, insult, or piss them off, and you want to know how to say no without using or saying the word no, or by being able to positivize how you break those bad news, well, don't worry, my friend, because I'm here to share with you how to say no without saying no using four approaches that you have to use depending upon the situation and the person you're interacting or dealing with. Let's go through them one by one, shall we? Number one is the as much as we want to approach. When you're using this approach, you have to make it look and sound as if personally you can do it. Personally, you're okay with it. Personally, there's no problem that if you were somebody in authority or in position that you will give in to the customer's demand or request. However, you're not. You're just representing the company, you're just doing your job, you don't have the powers, and there's something which is very important that you must uphold that gets in the way. One of which is the policy. And remember guys, when you are delivering this, you have to make yourself look and sound very humble or modest. Let's take a look at a couple of examples, okay? Number one, sir, as much as we want to grant your request, our policy says otherwise. I'm really very sorry. Or, personally, ma'am, it's okay. But our policy states that it should be like this, or it's supposed to be like this. We hope that you understand. There you go. That is be as much as we want to approach. Now, if the situation doesn't support this, then we might want to try the second one the appeal to conscience approach. From the words themselves, you, you will have to appeal to your customer's conscience. And there are two ways of going about this depending on the person you're interacting with. If the person you're gonna say this to is somebody you're already very close to, like you've already built rapport with, you can actually deliver this in a joking or kidding manner. It goes like this. You might wanna couple this with a little bit of uh, you know head scratching involved uh, bowing your head down a little bit and it might even be helpful if there's like a humble giggling or smiling over there. Okay, this is how you go about it. <laughs> Honestly, this is how it is, sir. If I let you, I don't have a job anymore tomorrow. Hope you understand, sir. There. Or, ma'am, if we set our side of policy, my boss would kill me. And uh, that wouldn't be good, would it? There you go. That's the appeal to conscious approach in a joking or a kidding way, if and only if you're very close to the customer you're saying no to. Now, on the other hand, if the customer is really very serious or already pissed off at the moment, and that uh, you know it would be adding insult to injury if you crack a joke like that, then you can still resort to the appeal to the conscious approach, but you really have to make it look and sound that uh, you have uh, the customer has to have mercy on you. To, to pity on you because you're just doing your job and you're just representing the company. So it goes like this. Honestly, this is how it is, sir. If I let you, I don't have a job anymore tomorrow. Hope you understand, sir. This job is really very important for me. Or something like, ma'am, if we set us our policy, my boss would really kill me. I, I'm not kidding, I'm serious. Hope that you can cooperate with me on this. I'm gonna help you as much as I can, but the thing is, Blah, 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 blah. There you go, okay? Hope you're liking the first two approaches in how to say no without saying no. All right, third is what we call the I regret to approach. From the words themselves, you have to look and sound regretful, sorry, apologetic, empathetic. When you are delivering your lines for this, you have to put yourself in the shoes of your customer first. So you can think what they are thinking, you can feel what they are feeling or felt, or you can visualize what they're going through or had gone through before you know, coming up to you. And this is how you go about this. Remember, you have to make it look and sound that you're really very sorry. So you have to look and sound sad or really identifying with the customer and his situation. It goes like this. I really regret to tell you, ma'am, that we, we ought to turn it down. And don't forget that you always have to back it up with the reason why you're saying no to it, why you're declining them, why you're turning down the request, okay? Always explain the reason so that the customer would understand why the situation 
ends like that. Or something like this. Sir, I know that you won't like what I'm going to tell you, but I need to reject that. And the reason is, or it's because, blah, 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 blah. Remember that, okay? Now, I understand that being straightforward to anyone is also equally important. Now, when the situation calls for you to be very direct to the point, it's okay to say no if you can't really avoid it or if you can't really positivize it because you suck at it. It's okay, all right? But remember, if you want to be very frank about things, you have to very, uh, you have to be very good at positive framing or positive scripting, okay? And uh, do not leave your customer at a dead end situation. Like you're saying no, but you're not offering anything else anymore. Therefore, we need to make use of the alternative approach. It's okay to be straight to the point. It's okay to say no, but make sure that you don't leave the customer hanging. Offer options, offer alternatives that may not be as good as what the customer wants to happen, but could be the next best thing. This is how you deliver it. I really apologize, sir. I can't let you for now, but don't, don't worry too much. What we're gonna do instead is, see, you're saying no, yes, and you're delivering it in your most humble or modest uh, way, but you are offering alternatives that hopefully the customer sells for. Or something like, ma'am, I'm really sorry, we're not allowed to, but I'll see what else I can do for you. See, all right? Once again, you're not leaving your customer at a dead end situation. You are making it collaborative instead. And uh, when you uh, deliver it that way, from pissed off, mad or irate, the customer might tone down a little bit and start cooperating with you. So there you go guys, that's how, or those are the four different ways of saying no without even using or saying the word no. We hope that you appreciated this content. If you did, then please do us a favor. Let's reach out to a lot more people who would find this very helpful at their work. So please like, comment, and share around. My name is Bentor Myron Satana, your corporate enter trainer and soft skills guru. Wishing you all the best in your job as frontliners. And if you want to convert this content to something like an in-house training program so that I could elaborate on with your uh, employees, just get in touch with my team at 725-5568. These are our mobile numbers and you can also send us an email at info at mssbizsolutions.com. I look forward to your successes in customer service. Bye.